let's talk about successful graphic design business strategies that you can use to supersize and grow your business. Now, the first step of any business, whether you're just starting out or whether you're an established business or whether you buy someone's business that you want to tweak and change and supersize and grow, is to understand the market. In this case, the graphic design market. What trends are going on? What's important? Uh, it's, it's most industries and they say, oh, it's an ever evolving industry. But guess what? All the industries, all the world is changing and ever evolving and changing and morphing. And we need to stay on top of those trends to know uh, what makes sense for us. We're going to identify our target market. And these apply to any type of business, right? Not just a graphic design business. And we're going to recognize the competition, keep up with the changes in the marketplace, do a SWOT analysis. Uh, we're going to identify our niche. Who are we here to serve? What is our specialty in the market that we're here to serve? Why should people care about us? Or are we just another RAN, right? If we're just another RAN, our expectations and hopes are going to be very different for that business than if we want to be the market leader, the category king for that particular business and industry. So we're going to identify our niche. Is it web design? Is it packaging? Is it branding? Is it photography? Is it uh Video, is it graphics? Is it uh, logo design? There's, there's a lot of different niches we can go into, but even in those niches, as niches have grown and expanded, we need to find where we belong within that. And that means doing a SWOT analysis, knowing what's out there, knowing who the competition is or could be. Nowadays, we're buying more for attention than we are for anything else. And that means anything else that could get our ideal customer's attention is actually a form of competition and we have to break through that so that we make sure people find us no matter what business or industry we're in we want to build a strong portfolio one of the first things and one of the things i did in both my corporate career and in my businesses is i immediately start binders and physical right if unless it's digital then we create digital files of the work that we do, the work that I do, the work that other people do in our organization, so that we have got examples of what we do, how we do it, you know, some of our best work. And it's a way to showcase how we serve people and what we can do for them. Uh, we want to be visually appealing, easy to navigate. We want to update it regularly with our latest projects. Uh, we want to collect and get case studies and testimonials. That allows people to see how do we work, how do what's our process, and how can we help them if if they see a story or a case study or a testimonial of somebody like them in a similar situation, they know that we can do the same for them if they like the results, of course. Otherwise, they wouldn't be watching. Uh, we want to develop solid brand identity and make sure that it's based on who we are, our business's core values, our business's mission, vision, purpose, principles, etc. That identity has to be consistent or people see right through it. I mean, if you're in a business just to make money, you might as well let people know that because it's going to show in everything else that you do. And that might be your brand identity. Hey, we're just here to help you make money, et cetera. Uh, we want to have and adopt effective marketing strategies. That means, uh, oh, we also want to have a profitable, well, I'll talk about that next. Effective marketing strategies, so content marketing, social media marketing, different uh, formats of content and information that we create. Networking and collaborations, we want to do those. We want to have and form strategic alliances. We want to be on other people's platforms and other people's stages to get more publicity and exposure for and more attention for our particular business. We want to create a profitable website, meaning it builds trust and sets it up so that people know, like, and trust us from the very beginning because they're, uh, we have consistent core values, et cetera. We want to make sure it is a place that we can showcase our portfolio, case studies, and testimonials, which is why we start collecting those. And we want to be mobile friendly, fast, easy to load, uh, all the things. And we want to have a seamless user experience. We want to have all of the things that make people want to come and visit our site because then we don't have to worry about what all the different platforms we're on are doing for algorithm changes and things. If we've got a solid uh, content marketing strategy, if we've got a, a solid social media strategy that works specifically for our business and our brand, we don't have to worry about if Google or Facebook changes something because 
frankly, they do it all the time. I try to keep up with Facebook because that's where I record my videos. And I can't even keep up with the way they change things all the time in terms of pages and groups and what they show. I used to have dozens and dozens of people watching my videos live. Now it's a big goose egg. And I don't know why that is, but I do know that it's because they have changed our ability to cross post and do other things on our pages because Facebook has decided now pages are not what they want to do, probably because they're trying to get everybody in communities and groups so they can target them better and sell more advertising, which is what they exist for, right? We used to think they existed for us, but that is very naive. And then finally, we want to deliver exceptional client services. If we don't do anything else when we're we're building and growing and supersizing our business. If we focus on the customer, we know who we are and what we're here to do and who we're here to serve, we'll end up winning because we'll listen to those customers and they will tell us everything we need to know in order to be successful. They will help us scale our business by telling us what's the next thing they need, want, and desire. And all we have to do is give it to them and a proportion of them will continue to do business with us, hopefully for their lifetime. Uh, love to know, are you using, uh, what are you using for graphic design? This is an area that I will, <laughs> I have to farm out for my businesses because I am one of those people that can get lost for days in designing any one thing for my websites, for my marketing materials, for anything. A lot of times I can't even decide what colors we should use. So I definitely can't decide all the detailed things like fonts and size and graphics and things. I can do it. I used to play with it a lot and I realized that I was spinning my wheels and wasting a lot of my time. I love creative endeavors, so it sucks me right in like a vacuum. And I realized early on that I had to actually get experts in that to do those things for me or I would do nothing but that all the time. So maybe I should have had a graphic design business, just never have. All right, that's it. That's our topic for today. Hope you got something out of it and something that you can use to grow and build and supersize your business. Questions, hit me up. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow with another supersize strategy that you can use and start using today and apply to your business. Have a great day.